Hey everyone, my name is Andrew from Andrew Roby Events and we are event and wedding planners based in the Washington DC area. So today I wanted to talk to you about failing to show up. Now I'm not saying show up in the sense of it, you physically showing up, but failing to show up to be able to accomplish what it is that you say that you're going to do. A lot of times in life we are faced with so much adversity, so many things, whether it's our family, whether it's our finances, our car, whatever it is, those things are hindering us in trying to reach our goal. But the one thing I don't want you all to do is failing yourself to show up. If someone is giving you an opportunity to meet with them, show up. If someone is asking you, hey, can you send me this proposal? I want to be able to refer you to another client, show up. If someone is asking you to support them on a project that may lead to something else, show up. Failing to show up lets people know that you're inconsistent. Failing to show up lets people know that you are not respectful of their time, you're not professional and unwilling to do what you said that you're going to do. Because most people don't say, hey, I think this person can do this. Let me contact them and see if, if this is something they do. Most people reach out to you because they know who you are. They know what your background is. And so if people are taking the time to actually contact you or if you are the one that is saying, hey, I want to be a part of this project and you're gathering people to be a part of this project and then you don't show up, you don't show up in the coordination, you don't show up in the direction, you don't show up in the motivation of what project that you have, people are going to start looking at you as being inconsistent. People are going to look at you as a failure. And that's one thing that we cannot do. We cannot present ourselves as a person that's determined up front, but lax and unprofessional when we get into the actual nitty and gritty of what it is that we want to do. What we have to do is show up and be consistent every single day. Be consistent at being world class. Be consistent in your excellency. Be consistent and no matter what you do, you're going to be the person that is going to show up and let people know that you are here because you ain't here to play games. You're here on a mission. You're here to do what you are saying that you're going to do and be able to go above and beyond that. A lot of times, you know, people feel adversity. They feel scared and they feel timid to be able to go after their goals. You know, being an ent uh, entrepreneur, that's not easy. You know, it is not easy to, you know, go out on your own and try to start up whatever business that it is that you want to do. But I want you to know that when you do, you step out on faith and you show up every single day to make your dream a reality. Failing to show up is not going to cause you to be a six-figure or a Fortune 500 company. Failing to show up is going to cause you to start working for somebody else. Cause other people to have doubt in you. And I don't want that to happen. I want you to show up. I want you to be the person that you say that you are and begin to make differences in the lives of so many people. And what I want you to also do is that when you are in the position of you're showing up, I want you to be able to surround your people who have that same mindset. It is completely okay to let people go. Let people go in relationships. Let people go as business acquaintances. Let people go as friends. Sometimes you have to let family go. And that is okay. It is extremely okay. Because what you want to do is that we are meant to be great people. And we're meant to be people that are able to exceed and be successful. And the only way that you can actually do that is by surrounding yourself with people who are willing to push you to that point. And if you're around people that are, don't really care if you're successful or not, they don't really care how much uh, you're able to give to the community or if you are leading a project or winning you know, in your company, those are not the people that you want to be with. You need to be with people that are going to want to constantly see you be able to excel, constantly see you be world class, constantly see you deliver, and constantly see you be unique. You know, when we show up, we have to show up in a way that is different from anybody else. We are not here to be duplicates. We're here to be single individuals that are providing whatever it is that you're providing. Maybe it's a product, maybe it's a service, whatever support that you're providing. 
That let that be yours and let it be yours uniquely and show up and provide that to other people. Stop allowing yourself to be behind the scenes. Stop allowing other people to really shine in your place. Show up, show people how amazing that you are. Show people how consistent that you are and how professional that you are. It's one thing to live a life in someone's shadows, but when you show up and shine, man, that is something that you that no one can take from you. That is something that no one can take from you at all. And people are watching you. People are watching the results that you're creating. It may not be something that you're creating on a daily basis, but if you're consistent enough in showing up, whether it's on a project, no matter how big or small, something that you're doing in your company, a new product, a new service, whatever it is, maybe you're simply going to support a friend. Maybe you're sharing something that a friend has. Whatever it is, at least you are showing up. You're present in the room. And that says so much. It resonates for so many people. So your goal, my, my challenge to you, is to be able to show up and let people know how amazing you are. Let people know how outstanding and world class you are, but and most importantly, how unique and special you are and the things that you bring to the table. 